Today's the day, boys. Today is the day we are taking home the Supra. Speaking of that, what do we name this thing? I don't even know what to name it. Should we like tribute it to Miley? Or should it be its own category? These are the random thoughts that go through my head every single day. We are here at Top Rank, picking up the car. The paperwork is ready. There's a bunch of uh, like paperwork and documents that have to be done because importing a car and selling a car in the States and registering it in the States that was imported. There's hoops and there's paperwork that has to be done. So it's been about two days since I've been here. All the paperwork is done and it's processed. I'm writing the check for the car. Car, and we are on our way and we're gonna figure out how to drive a right-hand drive car home. It's been the first time for me. Oh, there she is! It's so good! Yo, I wanted to find this car one more time and show it again because the amount of people that commented about this car and thought it was really, really cool. I think it's called the GTIR SR20 power plant. I believe it's all wheel drive and it weighs like nothing. And everyone says, even at this dealership too, and even all you guys on the comments said that this thing is a ripper. Yeah, there it is, GTIR. It's so odd looking, but this thing could be so cool. Maybe potential project? I don't know, but I do know that I'm gonna be coming back here a lot more often. Currently filling out the paperwork. I'm antsy, I'm nervous, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Right now, they're um, doing some service work on it. I think they're changing the trans fluid. They're polishing up the car. If you remember in the last video, when I showed the car, the steering wheel had a little bit of wear on it. They actually went and patched it up. They offered to get me a new steering wheel. They said it'd be like, they had to send it off. It'd take a week to get reupholstered. You guys already know, I couldn't wait that long. I know you guys cannot wait that long. So I said, D don't even worry about it. I'll take the, the wheel as it is. And they even went ahead and just got it repatched like overnight. So putting on the new wheel, buffing it out, changing some fluids, finish out the paperwork, and we're on our way home. Today's video is sponsored by Honey. Honey is a free online shopping tool that finds the best coupon codes that you can use for websites to save you money. It works on over 30,000 sites, even Amazon.com. Honey is only two clicks away if you go to joinhoney.com forward slash TJ Hunt. Let's say you've been hitting the gym big time lately and you want to go to myprotein.com and you want to get yourself some impact whey protein. You're going to pick what you want to get and you're going to go to the buy now option. Treat it just as a normal shopping experience. When you get to the checkout, Honey's going to pop up and it's going to give you some coupons that it can save for you. You're just gonna simply click apply your coupons and Honey's gonna test all these codes and pick out the best one for you to save you the most amount of money. And just like that, we just saved $9 on our order. There's no reason for you not to add Honey to your browser today. It's free and it's literally just two clicks away from saving you money. The last time I promoted Honey, a couple thousand of you guys actually used it and installed it. And that means a lot of you guys saved a lot of money in total, which is crazy. Click the link down below to add Honey to your browser today or go to joinhoney.com forward slash TJ Hunt to start saving money instantly. Once again, thank you to our sponsor and back to today's video. So the car still comes with like the owner's manual and like all like the original stuff you get when you buy the car. Yeah, and believe it or not, this was a one owner car. All of his like documentation from Japan and all like the service records, some of that is all still here and it's really crazy. He got the car right when it came out, potentially could have like pre-ordered the car or special ordered it, and he owned it for 25 years. We don't know how old he was, but I mean, as you guys can assume, if a car is completely stock, especially a Supra for that long, odds are it's probably an older person who owned it. Maybe he died and then his wife like <laughs> sold the car and now it's in the US, I don't know, but that kind of mystery makes it, I think Maybe to me, an that much cooler. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what any of this stuff means, but it is pretty rad to have all the original documentation from it, definitely something that we will keep. So I wanted to show some of these papers because coming from the US and seeing how they did it in Japan years ago is like pretty cool to me. Looks like some sort of like safety check or safety record. Uh, this isn't from Toyota, but it's from like a, maybe imagine like a mechanic shop here in the US. And as they like describe like what's good and what's going bad, they literally use like little face characters as like great, happy and like not too good. Two, two, year two years maintenance. Two years maintenance, two years maintenance. Oh, that is so cool that this is all with the car. All documented. Yeah, this is, <laughs> that's all we're trying to find out. But no, it's no Asian one. We're trying to figure out on oh, any of these yeah. documentations, how old he was. On some of these papers, it says like his name and who he was from like service records and stuff. And we're being a little bit nosy and we're trying to see like if there's ever like a date of birth so we can like have an idea of how old he was because that would kind of like explain why, it, why it's still stock to this day. So far we haven't found anything. <laughs> so this is the Supra manual. 
yeah. that was nice. Japanese version. And just like that other documentation, that I like to or there's like cartoons describing certain things. I don't imagine Toyota doing that in the States, but it's really cool to see it. I want to find the picture that I just saw. Like, look at that. They give like the car animation and emotion, which is pretty cool. All right, boys, everything is uh, looking pretty good. We're just underneath the car looking at all the cats and stuff. It's just cool to see everything be like 100% legal and working. That's a really big bug. Oh, I just smacked it. And then we'll be driving this baby home for the first time, right? bringing it right back to the warehouse, and we'll probably start digging into it a little bit today. And I can meet the RX-7 for the first time. Two JDM legends under the same roof. The kid inside of me is literally going crazy. I have so many of you that are like, Please buy that FD, please buy that FD. As much as I love this FD, and it hurts me, guys, to walk away from this one day. These pop-ups look fucking mean, though. I will say, it's not that I hate the pop-ups. I love the pop-ups. Don't get me don't get me wrong. I think the pop-ups look fucking amazing. But I feel like the sleek headlights look a lot better with the way my car is set up. I have these at the shop still. And then when necessary, I'm going to repaint my pop-ups the same color as the rest of the car. And then one saw them one day as a little surprise. But that thing does look good. I'll miss that car. Oh my gosh. My heart is beating so fast. Why? I don't understand. Oh. I said I would get a black car ever again. And then I got this truck in black. And now we got the Supra in black. Don't just look at it. It looks so good. I sound like I'm just nutting, and I am, and I can't hide it. We are about to make this car so fucking cool. I don't even think I'm giving you guys that much of a walk around of the car, but just the fact that it's 100% stock, that is so cool to me. Let me just adjust my seat, how I look. I mean, you look like a super owner. Oh man. Not quite as uh... Trying to adjust this seat here. New shift knob. Wow, man, look at me. Paired steering wheel. Look at me. You're styling, brother. Let me just. Mm. Ooh. Hopefully, by the end of this uh, hour and a half drive home, I become better at driving left handed stick. It's still a bit funky. It's not It's not hard, but it's, it's weird, like going from like third to fourth and accidentally going into second. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> This thing's literally so high, we're definitely not gonna scrape. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the road! What? I got a vlog in my right hand. Oh my god! We got a Supra! No! Oh! The little kid inside of me right now, ever since I've seen Fast and Furious, I've always wanted this car. And now I literally have one. What? And what's weird too is you wanna do the turn signal with this hand, but it's actually your right hand on right hand drive cars. They switch that as well. I'm finding myself thinking a little extra hard right now. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till we get on the freeway and then update you guys. Okay, so I have some things that I wanna point out about this car. With the stock turbos, there's surprisingly a good amount of turbo noise that you hear from this. And it's not very fast. The JDM spec only makes like a little, little over 200 horsepower. But one thing that I'm noticing the most is that for a car that weighs 3,600 pounds, the steering, I'm barely moving the wheel and it's so direct. I imagine for a car that's 20 plus years old for the steering to not feel as sloppy, but it says a lot that 20 years ago to have a car feel like this for a sports car, it feels pretty good. Like it feels so light on its feet. I wouldn't at all guess it weighed as much as it does. I'm just, I'm just in love. I feel like I'm in a spaceship. I feel like, I, I feel like this is a dream. I'm so happy. The car rides nice. The AC is cold. Everything about this is so fucking awesome. I'm just driving with the biggest smile on my face right now. Getting used to driving on the right hand side. I keep favoring the left hand side of the road. My brain's trying to put me in the left hand side of the lane, if that makes sense. And I'm just trying to remember to hug the right hand side of the road here to make sure I stay in the middle. Other than that, it's pretty simple. I have to like double think when I shift to make sure I'm in the right gear, but something I'll get used to over time. I don't, the car has no weird rattles. I haven't noticed anything uh, weird quite yet, which is surprising. Hopefully all goes well. We have about an hour or so left on the drive home. Can't really complain in traffic when I'm driving a Supra and just driving along the beach the whole way home. Some things that I have gotten to notice over the last hour and a half, there's like a lot of traffic, so this drive is taking way longer than it normally does. I almost enjoy right-hand drive 
more than left-hand drive. And I didn't talk about this too much before buying this car, but I was not looking forward to the fact that this car was right-hand drive. I've been looking for a left-hand drive for the last like two and a half weeks, three weeks, and there's not many out there. The ones that are left-hand drive are about 15 grand more than right-hand drives usually, if they're like in the same type of spec and miles and all that stuff. But once you get used to it, it's, it's really interesting being on the right-hand side and it, it adds a sense of uniqueness at least for me personally with like the cars that we have it i don't know it makes the super feel just a little bit more special because it's a little bit different i really didn't think i would feel that way and i love the visibility that you have out of this car the front windshield the way it like dips right in your face there's just great visibility i don't think i can recall a time where i've ever felt this good about a car purchase super happy that we went with this car and the shifter too feels so good i was expecting it to be a little bit more sloppy and not as notchy literally feels like they must have like redone like the bushings or something because it feels super tight super direct i'm not guessing i've said this before in like older views it just makes it makes you feel more confident with the car which is always a good thing oh yes 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 cannot believe this is fucking here right now She's home. Would you just look at it? It looks like it's meant to be. Damn. Jay Zizzle? Stock Cleanest and rock. engine bay. Dang, what is that? Ooh, it's like oily. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's all dressed up. She's pretty. She's oiled up. They spray all the crap wow. in there to make it look new. But... That is probably one of the cleanest stock 2Js I've seen. Never mind it. Nope. Never One owner of 25 years. Dang. I know. This car has like full documentation. It's insane. Which is pretty cool for a car that's been imported. I mean, we can't read any of it, but still, it's awesome. And I'm feeling. Old.